Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CuCO3 plus HCl, copper 2 carbonate, and this is hydrochloric acid. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see I have two hydrogens here and just one here, and then two chlorines here and just one chlorine here. So if I put a two here, I think that balances the molecular equation. So that's done. Now we can write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. So copper two carbonate, that's gonna be a solid, and then our hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, that's aqueous, we have liquid water, carbon dioxide's a gas, and copper two chloride, in general chlorides are soluble, so this is aqueous as well. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation, and that looks like this. Note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So this is the complete ionic equation. Also note we don't split liquids and gases apart when we do net ionic equations. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're the same on both sides. And really the only thing that's the same in the reactants here and the products, those two chloride ions. So those are the spectator ions. We can cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CuCO3 plus HCl. I'll clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for copper two carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. In the reactants, we have two times one plus. So there's two plus in the reactants and two plus in the products. So charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CuCO3 plus HCl, copper two carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.